Libra land, 1010. Hello, my friends and fam. Whew, I wanted to do this reading yesterday, but I was helping a family member clean their house and it was for hours and my body aches this morning, but that's okay. I'm going to make it better. I'm going to do some stretches after this. And then later on, I'm going to go for a walk and whew, we'll get there. So anyways, I have a few channeled messages, Libra. This will be for the next three days. I am doing this reading the morning of Saturday, May 27th. So the 27th, 28th, 29th. Here, uh, the 29th is Memorial Day in the U.S. So I hope everyone's going to have a good weekend, but also be safe. I have a few channeled messages. I heard Ozark or the Ozarks and I heard a fairy and I'm not talking about the flying fairies. I'm talking about a boat fairy that ferries people to the other side, right? To the other side of an island or a landmass. It's a boat ferry. And then I heard energy vampires somebody out there has somebody 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 you have never even met them came out that is watching you this person could be in the music business we have the birds are chirping or they could actually be a pilot flying we have flying we have sing, melody, bird's eye view. I just heard the box, not bird box, <laughs> um, box tickets to a game. So this person could have seats in a box, in some type of arena. They're very wealthy. We got the wealth card, billions, millions, status going up, but they are toxic. This card says he is toxic. So this could very well be a masculine energy. Uh, they're mental, deceptive, they have problems. They could also be losing a lot of their wealth because honestly, the wealth card came up in advance. That's just a message for somebody, somebody. And it's not just some mumbo jumbo at the bottom of the deck. All right, take those channel messages as you may. We're starting with our Hermetic Tarot. Three shuffles. I want to say I watched. Maybe I didn't watch the entire first season of the Ozarks. That's, yeah. The Ozarks. Or Ozark. I forget. All right, we're starting with the lovers. What does Libra need to be aware of the next three days? Whoa, okay. This is an end of a cycle, Libra. Not only is this the end of a month, the end of May, the end of a long month, this is the end of a cycle. We have the Ten of Swords with the Ten of Cups.
The Ten of Swords is the Lord of Ruin, whereas the Ten of Cups is the Lord of Perfected Success. I feel this Ten of Swords energy. Look how the darkness. Here comes my cardinal. I just put the bird seed out back. So you guys might hear birds in the background. I can hear the cardinal chirping. Anyways, this has been many different attempts to ruin your success, to ruin your Ten of Cups. But it seems to be falling apart. It's I'm hearing it's the end of an era. Okay. This is the end of this cycle. These people, these energy vamps, right? We got channeled energy vampires at the beginning. These people can no longer mess with you. Whether this is physically, mentally, emotionally, they're going to have to move on. Or they could work on fixing themselves, healing themselves. But either way, this is the end of that. See how all the dark matter in the very middle of this card is breaking? This could be the breaking apart of a group that was trying to come for your success, Libra, your Ten of Cups. Wow. This is interesting. What else does Libra need to be aware of? Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. Justice out next. You cannot make it up. 707 on the clock. Seven, a number of perfection. 711 as well. I just saw. Justice. Daughter of the Lord of Truth. This is such an awesome justice card. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. The Queen of Wands. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help but laugh. Justice is playing out for a feminine Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. They very well could have had a lot to do with the attempted destruction, the attempted destruction or ruin of Libra, but divine justice is at hand. Get the book out. Read justice. The sign of Libra at the top of the card is ruled by Venus, whose symbol is shown on the left side of the scales. Saturn is exalted in Libra and balances the scales on the right. The figure of justice triumphantly holds them aloft and a large sword resting at her feet further symbolizes her importance. And this isn't importance in an egotistical or vain way. This is your divine birthright importance, Libra. You will not be brought down. No. Not for those Librans that hold the true sword of justice and truth. The lower portion of the card depicts the dual symbols of the yin and yang. The spheres of each corner of the card also represent equilibrium. They are half dark and half light, 
suggesting the balance of negative and positive. You've balanced out. You've learned how to bring your life into a balance. You, it cannot be disturbed. No one can knock you off kilter. No one can knock you off, Libra. Ooh. In more ways than one. Dang. This is all about strength, fairness, equity, good intentions, balance, and eternal justice eternal justice forever yeah oh i know why they're mad i know why they're big mad what a shame because you've had good intentions libra this whole time nothing but good intentions Even through your darks, dark nights of the soul. What else does Libra need to be aware of? The Princess of Cups. The Page of Cups. Princess of the Palace of the Floods. With the King of Wands at the bottom. Prince of the Chariot of Fire. Court cards are always other people to me. The majority of the time. Unless I'm being asked to read them as the energy of the card. But I usually read them as other people. This is a lot of other people. We saw the Queen of Wands. Now we have the King of Wands here. The Princess of Cups. Just because... Their negativity is being dismantled or the negativity they were trying to bring against you and your life is being dismantled doesn't mean they're going to exit your energy anytime soon is what I'm getting. They're still going to be watching. Fortitude. Daughter of the flaming sword. This is the strength card. 1313 on the clock with the ten of wands you have busted free strength with the ten of wands your strength is unmatched these people could never libra these people could never Go through what you've been through. Come out the other side. And still emit and be about this divine justice. <laughs> they could never. Is what my spirit guide is saying. Fortitude with the ten of wands. The sign of Leo appears at the upper right above a rose of five petals, signifying the fifth sign of the zodiac. The female figure of fortitude represents the mastery of the lower by the higher. <laughs> You're becoming a master of your craft, Libra. And you've mastered the lower realms using the divine, using the higher realms, conquered the dark using the light. They can never, they still haven't, these people that are coming through that wanted ruin for you, okay? They could never. 
they still live in the dark. Her feet are firmly planted on earth and she controls the lion in a manner similar to the soul holding passions in check. Leo is a fire sign and fortitude is shown holding in her right hand a cup spewing flame. Here is the joy of strength exercised, showing complete ease, self-possession. The card also depicts they wanted to control you as well. They, these people or this person, they wanted to have some type of control over you. And that did not play out at all. The strength you have shown is what they least expected. They thought you were going to be the, the weak, meek, codependent Libra that needs others' approval. It's like, no, that Libra is not gone, but we have healed and we are healing from those type of energies. This card also depicts a lion on the shield of fortitude. Its meaning is persevering strength and energy. All those wands, all those swords, all this physical and mental conflict they've thrown at you. You've transmuted it with justice and strength this is all about fortitude courage power control and strength you took power over your own life one more card and then we're going to move into the Black Moon Astrology and the Beyond Lumeria decks I have out that I have pre-shuffled already. I was preparing for this reading yesterday, but like I said, I was just too exhausted and I didn't get around to doing it until this morning. That's why you're getting a Saturday morning magical manifestation robe reading. <laughs> I love my true supporters. Love you, Libras. The Ace of Wands. Whoo wee! You took back your power. You took back your power. Transmuted, cleansed, <clears throat> all for you. To use as you see fit to benefit those truly deserving of your energy libra with the six of pentacles <laughs> can't make it up lord of material success let's read the ace of wands and the six of pentacles An angelic hand issues from clouds grasping a flaming heavy club. The whole is a great flaming torch. This is all about force, strength, rush, vigor, energy, gain. That, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Houseway. It says energy gain. They tried to take your energy, those energy vamps that we talked about in the very beginning of this reading. But you're gaining all your energy back, all your power. I said it. Yes, Libra. Yes. 
The Six of Pentacles. Lord of Material Success. A hand from the bottom grasps a branch of white roses with buds and opened petals, each of which touches a pentacle. In the center discs appear the hexagram. The upper and lower discs contain the quarter moon and the symbol for Taurus or moon in Taurus. This is all about success and gain in material undertakings. Power, influence, rank, nobility, rule over people, fortunate, successful, and just. <laughs> because you can be trusted. And look what's behind that. Back again. The Ten of Pentacles right behind the Six of Pentacles, Lord of Wealth, and the Six of Pentacles, Material Success. And you can be trusted with this because you are a noble person. And what you've been through and what you've come out of, Libra, gives you the personal experience to do what you do. Black Moon Astrology, we have roots at the bottom. Fourth house. At the bottom of the Lumeria deck, we have internal explorer. I believe this is a message from your ancestors. I heard get back to your roots. Yep, North Node. Life's purpose. You are stepping into your true north node, Libra. Let's go. One card for Libra. What does Libra need to be aware of the next three days? Thank you, Spirit. Healing, Chiron. With fire element desire at the bottom there has been a lot of fire with the ace of wands and the strength card two passions igniting passions libra or reigniting number eight the number of hard work but also Eternal abundance. The wound is the place where the light enters you. Rumi. Healing must take place before you are able to deal with your matter. Chiron is not a planet, but a comet with a unique orbit that travels through the entire zodiac over approximately 51 years. Chiron is the Greek word for man horse. In myth, Chiron the centaur, the wisest of all creatures, was the wounded. Did you just hear that pop? I know the camera picked that up. Spirit in the house. There's no one else down here. He was wounded. The wisest of all creatures was the wounded healer in self enlightened shaman. He was wounded in the flank and was almost crippled, but was rehabilitated from his wounds and sickness to pursue the healing arts. I have chills. Through the guidance of Apollo, god of light. For astrologers, Chiron has a special purpose as a bridge between the inner and outer planets. I have more chills because we got channeled in the very beginning of this reading, the fairy that serves as that bridge over water to take people from one area to the next, one land mass to the other across water. It's like you are this enlightened, self-enlightened shaman Libra 
Many of you are meant to pursue in the healing arts, meant to pursue careers involving the healing arts. In the chart, Chiron's place shows transition, linking the mundane to the extraordinary. This heavenly body takes us on a journey through our darkness, where we pass through to the next side with strengths we did not realize we had until we pass through that black place. Wow. 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 Spirit in the house, Libra. Chiron has a relationship to the two astrological signs of Virgo, health and physical well-being, and Sagittarius, consciousness and spiritual well-being. Chiron lords over matters of health, illness, and disease, and especially how they relate to our personal journey through life. One must see darkness before there is light. One must experience sickness before there is lasting health. Chiron also represents resurrection, so as some relationship to the Christ figure as the wounded healer. And I heard Christ consciousness in my mind. This is a card of great transformation. Therefore, in many ways, you are rising from the swamps. Chiron's energy says that once we are able to heal ourselves, we can also take this gift or wound and learn how to restore others. We can mend our wounds when we embrace, process, and understand the gift of illness or dysfunction. Chiron is also an expert in alchemy, which gives us the ability to transform the mundane into the marvelous. Chiron is a blending of the energies of Saturn and Uranus, meaning just don't throw out the old. There is wisdom there, but you should also embrace the bold and the new. In keeping with this, Chiron also governs quantum physics, medicine, and astrology. When this card turns up in a reading, it can indicate health matters or that issues of a medical nature may be of concern. This matter may have to do with health concerns, mostly, especially any emotional healing that is needed. At this time, you may find yourself visiting or having interactions with health facilities or any place that has to do with the healing of the mind, body, or spirit. There is also a time of, this is also a time of teaching and learning, so schools may figure into this matter. Certain sorrows of the deep past may be resurfacing. This is so fitting for Memorial Day weekend, is it not? My ear just rang. Mourning those that we not we have not lost them. We're so used to saying mourning those that we have lost. They're not lost. They're around. They come around. They check on us. They hear you when you say you love them. You speak of them. They hear you. When you're honoring them, they recognize it, they hear it. I heard watch for the signs. Watch for the signs the next three days. Be careful of repeating old patterns. These will tend to resurface unless faced directly. This is an awakening time where you can resolve things. The symbol for Chiron is a key. And this card says you have the key to open the right doors at your asking. To do this, you will have to work with the wounded or the downtrodden in some way. So if this is true, it is now time to save yourself and others. Wow. Chiron card in brief, a bridge between the tangible and intangible, shamanism, facing yourself, 
journeys, the higher mind, heeding the call, deep listening, being bold, a journey through darkness, spiritual growth after abandonment, a difficult or painful passage, deep inner healing, therapy, medical tests, homeopathic medicine, chiropractors, issues with spine, bones, also internal organs, the need to heal or be healed, a wounding of trust, accidents, feeling the pain of others, healing or teaching others via your own pain, empathy, kindness, duty, responsibility, unnecessary worry, Libra, what you do as a routine, job change in connection with self-healing, publishing in the areas of alternative health or traditional medicine, home remedies, learning about health's benefits through the natural world, writing, being out in nature, the colors green and brown. This is actually the hanged man corresponding tarot card. Healing, process, contemplation, redemption. They thought they could ruin you, Libra. I just keep hearing that. They thought they could ruin you. But you rose out of the flames as the phoenix. And now you're on the rise. Phoenix rising. Wow. Oh my gosh. I just cut the deck open to loving compassion. And does that not look like a phoenix rising image? You cannot make this stuff up. My left ear is ringing very strongly. So again, you're going to have to be above it. You're going to have to be above it all, Libra. You're going to have to be above the drama. You're going to have to remove yourself from energy vampires, from uh, dramatic people or dramatic situations, relationships, jobs. Um, top card? No? I didn't want to come out. Keep going. And just kind of stay focused on what you're trying to accomplish. 33.13 on the clock. You're mastering. Self-mastery. Right? Self-mastery. We're mastering your craft. That's where you focus at this time. So in due time, you can help others, heal others, but that's never your duty. But you have been put here on this earth to heal and then in turn show others how it's done. Top card. Root chakra. Ground and center. And look at the moth. The darkness to the light. Look how symbolic that imagery is. Down here is the moth on top of the card. The light. Moving through the darkness to the light. Also the moth is symbolic of crossed over loved ones. That's beautiful. And it looks like little jewel drops. Jewel drops, like dew drops. That's beautiful. Root chakra, ground and center with awakened awareness at the bottom. Let's read. Root chakra. 
This is about your foundations, grounding, basic needs, survival, physical identity, responsibilities, the place where we build our lives, and time in nature. This image speaks of finding home within yourself, a sense of deep inner peace, and a strong sense of grounding and being centered. Here, you can be released from the grips of survival into a place of thriving. Yes, from surviving to thriving, Libra. I claim that. There is a trust connection to community, if you also claim that message, write it in the comments below. From surviving to thriving. There is trust, connection to community, and you can rely on others and joyfully understand your own responsibilities in turn. You are held and have strong foundations for all aspects of life. With your guard down, you have the tools to ride the waves if you need. Everything is okay. Spend time in nature. Sit or stand barefoot in nature and feel your roots merging with the earth beneath you. Consider your founding beliefs. If they no longer serve you, it may be time to reconsider your priorities or the foundations you live your life by. Be aware of any recurring patterns that may be holding you back. This is the theme of home, foundations, physical bases, and responsibility. The healing position is the base of the spine and the color is red. There's a lot of red in the Chiron card. And look at this, there's all type of red in the fire card. Awakened awareness. I just want to see a little bit about that card at the bottom. This is a reminder to wake up. There are many levels and stages of awakening. There is no on-off switch. Keep learning and putting yourself into situations where you can grow. Sometimes we do go back to sleep, so stay aligned with your inner guidance and find ways to remember to wake up. Do what you love to keep your vibe high. This is not about instant pleasure, but the joy that is sustainable and substantial. Eat healthily. Keep your body active. Have life goals, but with enough space to hear the answers to your prayers. When our energy systems become blocked or need a cleanse, we can become drowsy to our vital nature. Energy clearing can help you recenter. That's wild because the root chakra card says ground and center. Shadow work may also be needed if certain things are running your mind in a disempowering and distorting way. Find your unique way to connect to the divine inside you, not as an external seeking, but as a receptive allowing. Be inspired to see the question at hand with a different perspective. Look between the lines for a deeper interpretation. I hope you found messages here. Libra, oh my gosh, behind that. I love this card. Endless opportunities. And one more behind that. Wow. She of the Lotus. I love this new card deck. All right, Libra. I hope you truly hope you found messages here. If you did, give this reading a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, stay balanced, stay blessed. Peace, everyone.